Not only are we celebrating National College Colors Day, so many days going on today, <laughs> so we're many. also celebrating a very underappreciated member of the vegetable family, mushrooms. They're not just a topping for burgers and pizza, they can actually be the star of your meal. King Super's dietitian Mara McGuinn is here to help us celebrate Mushroom Month. Yeah. I didn't even know there was Who a Mushroom knew? Month. I know, there's of a lot course. of months these days. So National Mushroom Month is what we're here to celebrate. So mm -hmm. I'd love to tell you just a little bit about these beauties. Please do. Um, so let's start with the nutrition piece because okay. oftentimes you think of, so what color do we see mostly? White and brown. Yeah, white and brown. And have you heard anything about the types of vegetables we're supposed to eat? Uh, normally greens. Yeah, green and the rich colors and the deep sure. and bright and vibrant. Um, but mushrooms, even though they're white mm -hmm. and brown, they pack a lot of nutrition. So they don't offer us much in the way of energy from calories, um, but they're full of a lot of different vitamins and minerals, things like selenium, copper, potassium. Those are good for some antioxidant properties and also keeping our uh, nervous system and muscles functioning properly. Um, and they're also full of B vitamins that helps us tap into uh, our body's energy that we get from food. And then the one I really wanna highlight is vitamin D. Okay, the sunshine so, vitamin. The sunshine vitamin, okay. exactly, yeah. So that's one of the ways we can get vitamin D is through sunlight. Um, another way is through supplements if you don't think you're getting enough from your food, which is the third way. Very okay. few foods actually have um, vitamin D naturally in them. The mushroom is actually the only one from the plant family that does have vitamin D. Oh, wow. Yeah. Now, a lot of people just think of mushrooms as just adding a little bit of extra flavor, but you're just telling us that They're there's just so much more to them. So much more. So we know avocados are from California, oranges from Florida. Where do mushrooms come from? They're from all over. Um, so these mushrooms are actually from uh, Monterey mushrooms, and they're the largest mushroom grower in the U.S. Um, okay. There's 10 farms across, um, across the U.S., um, four of them being in California, um, one in Pennsylvania, a couple, uh, one in Illinois, a couple elsewhere. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's where they're going to be um, grown mostly for, especially these ones, and especially the ones that you'll find in King Supers. Um, There's so many different varieties. So I'm many just... different varieties, yeah. yeah. So I want to talk a little bit about each one. So we have our uh, white mushrooms, or button mushrooms, over here. Um, these actually, uh, these make up about 90% of the mushrooms that we eat in the U.S., 90%. Yeah, very familiar. Sure. I think most people are <laughs> right, with the yeah. white buttons. Very mild in flavor. Um, you know, the more you cook them, the more that flavor shines out. Uh -huh. Here we have what we call creminis or baby bellas. Um, you know, a little bit darker in color, a little bit firmer. So one of my favorites, I think. Are they? Yeah, mm -hmm. they offer a, a deeper, earthier flavor, I think. And then we have almost like an older brother, I want to say, of the creminis. Um, these are also known as baby bellas. So now here we have the full-blown portabellas. These are really the same mushroom. They're just grown about three to seven days more. Okay. Um, and then there's a couple up here that maybe people are a little less familiar with. Have you seen these before? I, in the store, but I can't. I couldn't tell you what they are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So here we have uh, oyster mushrooms and shiitakes. These are going to be used a okay. lot more in, in Asian um, dishes. Um, a little bit more delicate in flavor for the oysters. Um, they also, if you want to touch them, they kind of have like a velvety um, kind of texture. Oh, very soft. Yeah, very, I think just very beautiful too. Mm -hmm. um, so those are kind of the spread that we have. Um, I know that you all just had a uh, Pete's meat on. Yeah, Pete's meat. Mushrooms uh -huh. pair really well with with meat. So you know, this weekend if people are um, grilling, you know, Labor Day. Yeah. Um, Let's talk a little bit about preparation. Uh, do you wash off the dirt? Do you? Uh, how do you wash them? How do you prep them? That's and, a really good question. And can you just keep them in a cardboard container that you yeah. normally see at the yeah, store? Yeah, great. So um, oftentimes, what we'll find on top of on this one, you can see it a little bit. There's a little extra peat moss that's left over from the way it yeah. grows. Is that bad or good? It's totally <laughs> fine. Yeah, it's natural. Okay. Yep. So what you would want to do, you can kind of brush it off. You don't want to uh, run these under running water. Um, oh, okay. They're very porous. It's kind of like a sponge. They'll absorb all that moisture, and we don't mm -hmm. really want that. Um, so if you want to just get a damp uh, cloth or towel, okay, kind of just wipe right off, but not not running water, not submerging it or anything like that. Perfect. Um, and what was your other question? Uh, and then do you just store them in the ah, cardboard yeah, box? Yeah, storage, yep. So they can keep for about up to a week in the in the box that they come in. Um, and then you can also, if that doesn't work for you, if your box gets ruined, you can put them in a porous paper bag. That also works as well. All right. Thank you for being here, Mara. Of course, you're welcome. All you needed to know about mushrooms today. Your health matters to King Supers and their registered dietitians. They offer all kinds of nutritional events to help you live a healthier life. To find the events go uh, going on at King Supers near you, log on to kingsupers.com slash health matters.